Pat Love with Pat's Two Cents, another YouTuber sharing from her soul. Oh my goodness, I want you to hear this because a lot of times we don't realize how much we need to stay away from some things. I remember one time I was in a meeting and God gave me a word to warn somebody that if they continued with this simple, harmless friendship, it would end up blowing up in their face. And they would spend the next 15 to 20 years living out the, re the repercussions, the negative repercussions. We often call them curses. They're negative repercussions. And I'm telling you, it opens doors for assignments of the enemy to just add insult to injury. Listen to this. This one, when you hear a person confess, you need to listen to the mistakes they made because it can avoid a lot of heartache for you. And I appreciate this member of the body of Christ for sharing the story. Listen. I'm going to, when there's a name, I'm going to use initials. C.H. is not my real name. I am a female in North Carolina. I have been struggling with fornication and adultery for 10 years. That sin is bad enough, but what is even more disturbing is that this sin does not even make me feel good. I wonder how many rounds I have gone with that sinful man. He loves to play with women's hearts. And Satan, he's made that awful adulterer always available by phone because his number is forever etched in my mind. Satan found the way to get to me. He used his messenger R.F. to come at me with smiles. I felt so special. My life has been on a downward course since. I have never been fired from a job until I met R. Poverty. Satan gained access and my life has never fully recovered. I have spent several years not talking to R, but curses seem to remain. In this 10-year period from then until now, I have actually married and divorced a double sex offender. I had no idea that the man I married was a sex offender. I did not find out until 18 months later when one of his grown children told me I have paid a hefty price for just flirtation not even sex ladies be warned I'm gonna leave that one alone I'm gonna let you guys glean from her wisdom she is warning you please take heed if you feel needy and you need a man's attention Go to God. Get caught up in the things of God. Idleness. There's an old expression. It's not from the Bible. But I, it's a truth anyway. Idleness is the devil's workshop. Don't be idle. Because you're the very one that will be, could be, and probably will be a target, a sitting duck for Satan to toy with.